The Culinary Union says its workers and their families are not safe from COVID-19. They want everyone in a casino to be required to wear masks, not just workers. The I-Team's Vanessa Murphy live in the newsroom with the concerns of those workers. Yeah, the Culinary Union has these photos posted on its website. They're trying to avoid showing guests and customers faces, but what they want to show here is that employees are wearing face coverings. They're required to, but most guests and customers are not. Now, the union is calling for face coverings required for guests and customers in public areas and mandatory COVID-19 testing of all employees before returning to work and then regular testing. Some gaming groups like Wynn and Station Casino say they're already testing all employees before they return to work. The Culinary Union represents housekeepers, restaurant workers, dealers. One concern is workers on the front lines who catch the virus may bring it home to their families. According to the union, since the start of the pandemic, 17 union members and family members of union members have died from the virus. The total number of union members who have been diagnosed with the virus or hospitalized since casinos reopened was not available, but here's what one casino worker said today. I have observed that guests are not wearing masks in public spaces in Treasure Island. That concerns me because I don't feel safe. I do not want to bring the COVID-19 back to my family, my children. My partner has a bad kidney and a bad heart, and we have to be extra cautious. Now, the Culinary Union is not only asking casinos to make these changes, but they are calling on the Clark County Commission, Governor Steve Sisolak, and the Nevada Gaming Control Board to mandate these changes and then enforce them. Reporting live in the newsroom, Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now.